Hey there everybody, this is 22Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Why Him. So Why Him is written by Jonah Hill, one of the writers for this film at least. The film stars Brian Cranston, James Franco, and Zoe Dutch. And the film is about the family gathering together to meet Stephanie's boyfriend for the first time, not knowing that he is rich and he cusses a lot. But when Stephanie's boyfriend actually wins the heart of her own mother and brother, the one person he hasn't exactly won the heart of is Ned, played by Brian Cranston. Now, Why Him is a film I was actually really looking forward to. From the moment I watched this trailer, I was laughing hard. And I also loved seeing that Brian Cranston was doing a comedy movie because I really enjoyed Malcolm in the Middle. My favorite character, Malcolm in the Middle, was Brian Cranston. And you know, a lot of Brian Cranston's filmography is really drama. He's been doing a lot of dramatic roles. And while that's awesome to see, I just couldn't wait to see him do a comedic role. It would bring me back to the Malcolm in the Middle days. Now that I've seen why him, I had one question when I walked out of the theater of this film. Why is this film disappointing? Because yeah, I was disappointed very disappointed by why him. This film is not that funny. This film completely wastes the potential. Like sure, the concept is something that we've already seen before. Family meets boyfriend for the first time. Father doesn't approve of his boyfriend. Father will do anything and not see his boyfriend again. Yes, we've seen that before. It's nothing new. But all I was hoping for going into this film is that the storyline would be enough for me to care. I would care for the characters. I still did, I would say, care for like Brian Cranston, Zoe Dutch. You know what? I did care for the characters, even James Franco, despite the fact that, unfortunately, I was very annoyed by him at times, by his character. Other times he did make me laugh for sure, but there were actually some times where I actually did qu quite get annoyed by James Franco's character, and that's unfortunate. Now, James Franco, he is good in this film. It's just his character where I was kind of 50-50 with him. I will say that the film does do a good job of making you feel bad for him because there is a little backstory to James Franco's character that I did appreciate with this movie. I'll say that for sure. I did really like Keegan-Michael Key here. He was actually pretty funny for the role that he had. And I actually did really like Zoe Dutch. She was really enjoyable here. I always really liked Zoe Dutch, and I know she hasn't really had a good track record with her movies, and unfortunately, this movie does add to her track record of not that good, but she's good here, honestly. Same thing does go for the mother. Same thing does go for the brother. I think, honestly, everyone does a really good job here. Same thing for Cedric the Entertainer. He was really good for what he had in this film. Brian Cranston, I'll say however, he did look like he was having a lot of fun and it did put a smile on my face sometimes because you could tell that Brian Cranston wanted to have fun with this film and he absolutely did. And that's why at times I was smiling watching Why Him. It's not like I hated Why Him. I didn't come out of this film hating it. I wasn't angry. I was just disappointed because I was hoping this would be a funny movie. And granted, while there are funny moments here and there, there really weren't a whole lot of it. This movie is just dull. And you don't want to say that about a comedy. You don't want to come out of a comedy going, well, that was dull. Because scenes do drag on for too long. Even certain jokes would drag on for too long. Like, there's a joke dealing with Brian Cranston on a Japanese toilet. And it started off funny, but then they kept dragging it on and on. It was like three or four minutes too long. And it just became not funny anymore from there. And unfortunately, it's not that well written. Jonah Hill is one of the writers for this movie and he and you could tell that he definitely does try but I don't think it really came together as well as he thought it would come out as well as the other writers for why him it does have a good looking cinematography though I did like how this film was shot there were actually a lot of really good shots and it actually is a very well directed movie I did like the overall direction of this film and I did appreciate the heartwarming stuff to why him all that stuff is fine and all but just that it's not really that funny it's not that well written James Franco's character 
does get on my nerves sometimes. And it is a predictable movie, which wouldn't be a problem if I was actually caring about this movie, but because I really wasn't caring about why him, the predictability does get quite bothersome in my opinion. So yeah, why him is a film I didn't hate you guys. I don't think it's a terrible movie. It was just a very, very disappointing movie. It really bummed me out because I just wanted to laugh. I wanted to have a lot of fun, especially considering the talents that are in this film. There was a funny film somewhere, and some moments were actually legitimately funny. There was potential for there to be a very funny movie, but it just wasn't there at the end of the day. This really isn't that funny of a movie. It's not even that well written of a movie. The cast looked like they were having fun and I'm happy. I just wish the movie itself was more fun. So unfortunately, I gotta give Why Him two out of four stars. This could have been better. It's just a forgettable comedy in my opinion. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Why Him. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!